Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne, it's so lovely to have you here. So basically, I am at the pub <laughs> with Martin on our date night. We have had such a productive day today. So we have cleaned the windows, we've cleaned the carpet, we've took the curtains down ready to be washed tomorrow. We've just had a really good clean basically so I just wanted to quickly do my intro I couldn't do it on the way to the pub because it was raining so yeah I've just quickly snuck into the toilets quickly <laughs> I probably didn't need to even tell you all of that but whatever so I thought I'd just do my intro enjoy the cleaning element I found it found it so therapeutic honestly and I feel like like my mind's clear like i've said that before like it really helps me when when i know i've done jobs that i needed to, to get done but what i'm going to do is continue this vlog into tomorrow so but i just wanted to do the intro because originally i was just going to do a voiceover over the whole cleaning video and just have it as a cleaning video but it's just not my vibe i'm just not yeah i'm just not um feeling it so i'm just going to in put it into um today's video anyway <laughs> i'll stop my waffling and i'll show a few snippets from our um evening this evening and i'll catch up with you later okay so our washing machine had a bit of a funky smell so we decided to clean this is one of the hacks martin saw on tiktok i think which was using a whole bottle of vinegar and a whole tub of bicarbonate of soda and it actually did the job really really well you notice now that the vinegar has one of those stopper things you know for fish and chips and it took ages a few moments later yeah exactly a few moments later <laughs> oh gosh but yeah you just put it on a hot wash and let it do its thing and it's absolutely brilliant okay so now we get into the good stuff the cleaning of the windows honestly they were disgusting really really dirty it's that time of the year isn't it where all of this needs doing and we live on the back of the woods so all the debris and stuff just blows over so first things first is we give all the frames a really good wipe over get rid of all that debris because you don't want to be doing that once you've actually done the windows obviously martin does this bit <laughs> and then you'll see a bit later on i decide to take over because i just can't help myself there's lots of nooks and crannies on this door frame. These are the windows outside the living room. Covered in cobwebs as well. Mm. I hope you guys really enjoy this because <laughs> I'm feeling really embarrassed at the moment. But yeah, anyway. So the tip that I saw, I watched loads of videos on this, was to wet your cloth first and then just rub washing up liquid get it really really soapy you don't want the thing too wet but you don't want it too dry anyway because you really want it to soap up and in all honesty this did do a fantastic job of cleaning the windows it's just learning the technique really and some of the windows are smaller than the actual squeegee so yeah it the squeegee is brilliant but I did go over some of the windows with uh, window cleaner once the windows were actually clean. This is me trying to um, get a good angle. But actually, I think this actual camera that it's filming on now seems a lot brighter and better quality. There's me stepping in. Can't help myself. Yeah, I have to go sideways with this one because it won't work. So I'm wiping the squeegee afterwards so it doesn't drip everywhere. This is actually knackering cleaning windows, let me tell you. I think we are going to look to get a window cleaner. Because I can't do the upstairs anyway. It's Martin drying all the edges where it drips. And then I move on to the other one, but don't move the camera, so apologies about that. Just too eager to get on with it, that's me. I'm in my own little bubble when I'm cleaning. Mm -hmm. 
yeah and then the little windows just um give them a clean and then you literally use windoline because there was no way that squeegee was going to get in there It looks so much better already and I haven't even done the inside yet, which I'm about to do now. Honestly, the little sticky marks and fingerprints and everything <laughs> that the kids do. And I know as soon as they're around next, they'll go straight to the window because they just love looking at all the wildlife. Yeah, definitely keep a towel or a kitchen roll handy because it does drip, even though it's not soaking wet. This is me doing the inside. I'm really sorry about the lighting and everything. I'm learning about all this. When you look on the camera, it looks brighter than that. But then I think where the sun goes in and out, it yeah affects the, the lighting. And can you see Bella literally sat there observing, making sure <laughs> she's like a little supervisor. She's so funny. get Martin in there because my arm's knackered at this point and then we need to move on to the kitchen Martin goes straight outside you can't see him there I will adjust the lighting um, in a bit but I go in and do the inside of the windows and he goes and does the outside and then I realize when I come over to check that it's still filming and everything that you can't actually see him because it was quite funny we were kind of pulling faces at each other and <laughs> I'm always climbing across the kitchen cabinets and things. That's what, yeah. <laughs> quite, some of them are quite high. There you go. There you go. You can see them now. I think it just started to rain as well. And then I thought, oh, I need to clean this dish drainer. Why doesn't it get so mucky? Always, honestly, it's, it gets really, really mucky. I have to give all that a good clean while I'm there. I do love it when it's all done and it smells lovely. Oh, I do. It's my joy. Put everything back where it goes. And then we'll be moving on to the fun stuff. So I'm going to take down my curtains to give them a wash. I only probably do it once a year. That's when I realise I'm standing on them, I think. Yep. <laughs> I don't dry, like I literally hang them back up when they're wet and they just dry. And then all the creases and everything drop out. That's when I realise it's really dusty behind there. This is like the perfect time of year to get all these jobs done, I think. Get all them cobwebs, Leanne. They appear from nowhere. Oh yeah, then I noticed that the mirrors were all smeary, so I was like, oh, I better get, get on with them as well. And the living room one, again, it has like a film, like a, like a dusty mist. <laughs> And then we need to give everything a really good hoover before we clean the carpets. Martin's given the rug a really good hoover so you can roll it up and pop that away. Try and put everything on the sofas. And then I noticed it was really mouldy down here. So Martin's given that a good clean before we put everything back. I 
open the windows so that it doesn't get too much moisture it's going to be in the air from everything being wet so So this is the carpet cleaner that we're going to be using. We've used this one before, it smells really nice and it does a really good job. Uh, doesn't matter, I don't think, it'll go cold anyway. We've got, um, we're just making up a heavily concentrated solution to pre-spray the heavy areas because uh, um, the machine, I can't over put product in because it automatically mixes it itself but the car carpets are heavily stained, so they're very old carpets. They'll be being replaced in the next few years, but for now we'll just keep cleaning them. So I'll show you when, we've, uh, when we're on to that stage. We're just going to try and put as much of the furniture on the sofas as we can. Um, the dining room's not as bad. We're going to obviously go over it, but it's these areas. Um, I mean, I know from filming before, it doesn't show up as much, but obviously without the rug, I think you can see it's pretty clear. But I can see it, and it just needs a really good, good clean. But I was saying to Martin, um, we, we're still debating whether to have wooden floor in here and just get a bigger rug, because I feel like if I have new carpet, I'm going to feel... Um, I'm going to get Mardi with the grandbabies and their grandbabies so they're always going to eat in here and play in here and so I'd rather just have an area where I can just clean and not care, do you know what I mean? Okay so it's going to need to be hoovered again just to make sure there's no um, dust or anything like that. <laughs> I think I think the very catch just seen Bella. Oh she's not seen Bella yet. They're friends though, aren't they? Yeah. Bella! <laughs> Grey cat's like, oh I didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, they're not friends. Yeah, they are. Mine. Are they? Yeah, yeah they are. Oh, okay. Okay. She's probably like, what are you doing? I was just sleeping. <laughs> You'll have to let me know, you guys, if you like these types of videos, you know, with a voiceover, a bit of music sped up, deep clean. Because I've tried to do a mixture of both on this video. Um, just because I felt a little bit awkward doing it fully as a uh, voiceover. I never know how much of a gap to look like. Do I need to fill up the whole thing with um, speaking? Or are you happy just to watch? And you know. Anyway, so this is the um, concentrated spray. So we're just giving that a really good um, soak. Because that's a really hard uh, walk area. So that it gets really mucky. So this, so my machine has um, the tank for the clean water, a tank for the dirty water, and then it's got the solution at the back. I don't think I actually showed that too well in this video, so apologies about that. This is obviously super sped up as well because you have to go over this quite slowly, so it does take a while. I am really impressed with this carpet cleaner to be honest with you. This is all the dirty mucky water. When So when he goes forward it's um, cleaning the carpet and when he pulls away it sucks it back up and you can see it filtering through the top. Like ugh. Honestly, you don't realise how mucky everything gets. We 
so lovely because we got all of this done spent the whole day being really productive and then we got showered and ready and went on our date night so it was really nice like a nice little reward for all of our hard work you're going to see in a minute just how dirty the water gets oh it's gross Okay, so to say that this is grim is an understatement. But it just goes to show you that you think, well, actually, I didn't think it looked clean. I thought it looked dirty. No, <laughs> but that, that, that is really dirty. But we're going to... Um, Right, I was going to move on to the dining room and I'm going to give the living room a bit another spray with the concentrate just so that we can um, really work through those stains. We haven't actually, the last time, when we first got this hoover, we used the Vax hoover, that um, cleaner that come with it, the uh, carpet cleaner. And it did an okay job, but we definitely can tell with this, uh, the new one, um, We've used the other one before and it does do a grand job. What I do like about this is I am an overuser for product and you physically cannot because it mixes it all together for you. Um, so you only use the exact amount that's recommended, which is why I'm doing the spray for the heavy areas. Why are you with the spray? But I'm overusing <laughs> the spray bottle. The exactly. So who won't let me, so I'm doing it manually. Well, that's all good. Right. Tighten it up a little bit, shall I? I wouldn't bother. That'll oh, probably be enough for now. Because otherwise you've just got to empty it again. Yeah. So moving the table. Right. What do I do? Hold this. Yeah. Just watch the radio. Yeah. This room was nowhere near as bad as the living room area but it's still nice to you know it's all part of the same room isn't it so you still got to go over it all but honestly I really just love just watching I found it so amazing And then we go over the living room again. So once he had um, done that, we then resprayed, um, and then he went over it one more, one last time. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this part of the video. And now we get on to the normal part. <laughs> Can't resist. <laughs> Can't stop him. Sorry. Okay, so we've got some onion rings. I'm starving, so I'm probably like way ordering over. And then some mozzarella sticks with like a tomato salsa. Okay, so what have you got, Martin? I've got a smoky barbecue burger and hand cut fries. I've got Cajun chicken skewers with some hand cut fries. And I don't know what that sauce is there. I think that's hot sauce. That's garlic. Remember? That's garlic. Oh, there you go. How cute is he? Like seriously. <laughs> he's been given three songs. He's got to try and remember what he's putting on. I love him. He's helping this lady, it's her birthday. How cute is he? Like seriously, he's such a gentleman. <laughs> we gotta be going on. I play no more than that. One day later.
much better. I've just got to do with all this now. But first coffee. I'll put the machine on. Definitely couldn't take them both in. Not and let them wash wash well, so I'll just do them one at a time. Okay. Right, I'm just run the hoover around just to get rid of some of the harsh lines if you like but I think it's come up quite nice definitely looks refreshed so yeah happy with that we just need to put everything back where it goes but I think I might put the curtains up first just because um, there's less stuff to get in my way to do that I think the washing machine's nearly done with the second pair, so. But on that note, I will say good morning. We had a lovely date night. We met a new friend. As you would have seen a little clip of Martin helping her out on the jukebox, such a sweetheart. She couldn't figure it out at all, could she? She kept putting pounds and pounds and pounds in and, uh, yeah, losing them. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was her birthday, so that, that was lovely. We had a nice little chat with her. And then we came back, had some munchies, didn't we? <laughs> That was it. It's quite a late night for us, to be fair. So, yeah, this morning we need to go and do a food shop. We don't need a huge amount because I've got some bits and bobs um, still because obviously we've not eaten at home much this week, as you would have seen from my meals of the week. Anyway, going to get the curtains out, put them up and then go shopping. <laughs> Okay, so I thought before we go shopping, we'll put the curtains up. I probably just said that in that whole video, but here you go. <laughs> so I'm just going to slot them on now because, um, they, yeah, they dry. They'll dry by the time we get back from shopping anyway. So, well, not fully, but mostly. I decided to shut them so that they actually do dry, because otherwise they're going to dry crease. If you know what I mean. And like I said, the little the top windows are open, so there's uh, some airflow going on, which is going to help. It's the exact same in here, and then we'll go to darkness. <laughs> Smelt so lovely, I can't even tell you. You need fancy candles and things when you've got that smell going on, honestly. And just to show you what a lovely, lovely day. I know it's quite cloudy, but it was really sunny and bright and beautiful and just fills you with just hope, really, I think new chapter and all that I'm, I'm one for the sunshine I do like the winter but once winter's over I'm done I really am done really quickly and I decided to bring you along shopping because why not share the weekend with us hey Oh, that's what it's like. Keep it easy peeler ones. Something like a bit. Yeah, they look perfect. So, we're just getting one and getting the other one when? Do you reckon we get the other one like, I'll just swing in on Tuesday or something to get it for Wednesday? Maybe I should share that. Large shirimi tails, that's chilli ones. Let's get these ones here, they look alright, don't they? You've got some yeah. big ones in there. Carrots. That's the other thing I've been Jack of potato. I knew you were going to say jack of potato. Don't think the kids would eat jack of potato. Where is the parsnips, darling? I don't, think, I don't know if they Which one do we stick it on? Doesn't matter. We're together. 
They're huge, aren't they? Big one. The bus kind of puts on there. I thought you did. No, I scanned it on there, didn't I? I didn't oh. Scan it on there. I, need to scan it. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this in, but if I change my mind when I get around there, I'll um, scan me. I think you'd be better off getting the 125 Cornish Pasty, they're down from 195. Of course, your favourite though. Bacon. Chicken and bacon would be nice. Let's go Yeah? I don't really like pasties, it's not my thing. We're going to need butter. Yeah, we'll have a look round because if they've got the big lure pack for a fiver, that might be worth doing. I'm not really loving that anchor, to be honest with you. I don't mind it. I don't, I don't I like it. The other yeah, it's not got any saltiness to it. Right, some yogurts. Yeah, should we get some munch bunch ones? I do like the country light yeah. as well. Them. Yeah, they liked them, didn't they? Yeah. Well, well, we them, we can't say. yeah. Now, do you want blueberry or do you want to try the peach? Let's try the peach. Let's try the peach ones. Because we know we like the other two. Exactly. I still prefer the blueberry so far. Like yeah, blueberry's been my favourite, but it's surprising they've still got some. To be honest. Yeah. For one pound twelve. May. Bit confused. Is that right? Sorry. Hiya. Hi, yeah. <laughs> That's the best date of the night. I won't last that long though, to be fair. Will I? Let's get a bit of ham in there. Shortbread here, pink wafers, and what was the other ones? Um, Our oh, party rings. Oh, yeah. Right in front of you. I'm pointing at them. Oh. <laughs> You're funny. Did you do a man look? Yeah. <laughs> it's because they're the flavours that the kids would eat anyway. And you like them if not, don't you? Right, I'll get this. Uh, what's the price difference? Oh, don't know, it doesn't matter then. Get the, get the bare faces. I don't know what the difference is. Well, is it bag size for a start? That's a kilo, what's that? Um, 950. Oh, it goes in with everything anyway, doesn't it? So. Is 
Okay, just when you scan it, just make sure it is that actual one. Yeah. Okay. Right, so Do we need coffee? Uh, just open it. Oh, so we should be alright then. Thank you. <laughs> Hunter Barcode. Bottom words. Oh, I bet you're excited. Eucalyptus? No, I was just saying, this. I've not seen that scent before. <laughs> I thought that was you. I thought you said on your vlog this morning I only need a few bits. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you come shopping with me. I didn't scan one thing. Obviously, because you give me the scanner. You're walking around the camera now. <laughs> does it look like 121 pounds, does it? Nope. Hello. <laughs> That's a welcome, isn't it? Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Back from food shopping now. Curtain's pretty much there. I've opened them up now because I can't sit in darkness but it is looking so much cleaner and brighter and fresher I just need to I've polished in the dining room the table and everything I just need to pop the rug back down and the puff and then that's it and put the hoover away <laughs> I've put all the food chopping away now so I just need to I'm gonna get a roll and start exporting some of the footage off the camera and then relax till this evening when I take Martin out for I'm just dropping him he's going out for an Indian with some of the gentlemen from church so I'm gonna have that wasabi pot but other than that oh movie recommendation 100 percent recommend we watched the champions on sky um we watched it through now tv but honestly it was such a good movie so such a good a feel good you know it was lovely I, I highly highly recommend that it was really good so yeah we watched that and i think that's it yeah I don't know what I'm going to do today, this afternoon, chill out for a little bit maybe. I won't, I know what will happen, I'll export this footage and start editing straight away. Can't help myself, I just love doing it. <laughs> anyway, I'll check in with you a bit later. Okay, I've just dropped Martin down at the Indian for the evening. It is now 10 to 7. So now I'm hungry, I'm going to whack in my spicy Korean chicken and... I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if there's a movie or TV show that I want to watch. I'll have a look. Yeah, this is the um, wasabi home bento box. It's um, spicy Korean chicken with fried rice. It's actually really nice. I'll show you once I've um, made it all. Okay, so here is the spicy Korean chicken with fried rice. It is really, really nice. It says it's tender pieces of sweet and spicy chicken with miso and soy infused rice. And it, honestly, the flavors are so lovely. I really thoroughly enjoy them. Okay, so I'm home now from uh, collecting Martin. Is that quarter to 11? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so yeah, he had a lovely evening um, with the guys from church. Lovely meal and everything, so that's good. And I did spend the evening editing. I knew I would. But there you go. Anyway, 
I am going to wrap up today's video because I feel like it's going to be a mammoth of one. I hope that you've enjoyed this a little bit different, showing a little bit more in depth of the cleaning element, I guess. I like watching these kind of videos because it gives me a little bit of inspiration or not inspiration, like a bit of oomph to go, oh yeah, that's that's a nice feeling when everything's clean and tidy and yeah. Anyway, if you don't like it, that's absolutely fine <laughs> too. Anyway, I, I'm trying to convince myself or convince him, I don't know. I hope everyone's okay and I appreciate if you did like the video and you've got this far, then well done you. If you could give it a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. Until the next time, take care, lots of love, God bless. Thank you.